wanted to build our own Mad Max car, so we got our hands on a Nissan Silvia that was a stat write-off. Then we got our hands on a Holden Commodore, so we could pillage its big dirty V8 engine. With the help of some experts, we set out to create one of the world's most unique apocalyptic vehicles in just three days. Sydney Motorsport Park. Um, we've just arrived to uh, put the car through its paces and uh, see, see what it can do, Mark. This thing's awesome. Listen, I love it. Listen I love it. <laughs> Before we test the car, we've got a special guest. This is Sean Genders. He's worked on countless blockbuster movies, including Mad Max Fury Road. And he's come down to Sydney to check out our car and let us know whether it sucks or if it's mad. Okay, so this is super, super exciting. We've got Sean Genders here. He actually worked on Fury Road. He was over in Namibia for... Seven months. For seven months. So uh, because he was actually working on the film, he can give us a bit of an understanding of how successfully we've created an apocalyptic Fury Road vehicle. So, I, what do you think? I think you've done an amazing job. Uh, it's uh, very, very Mad Max, very Fury Road, but uh, also in the style of Mighty Car Mods. Do you actually watch Mighty Car Mods? Of course I do. I've been following Gramsci for ages. It's a fantastic show. What sort of car do you drive? Subaru. A Subaru? Yes. <laughs> yes. Marty's mate. Happy. Uh, awesome. So, any any suggestions at all? Like, or are we good to go? Like, are we ready to jump in and go test this thing and see what it's capable of? I think it's perfect. Uh, I, I can't wait to see this thing on the road, but you just need a couple of uh, bits of decoration. You need a skull. Okay, we don't have a skull. I have the skull. Okay. There's a skull, which awesome. you'll have to play somewhere. All right. There we go. <laughs> also need the Immortans logo, which you'll see on all the cars in Fury Road. Put that somewhere. And the other thing I brought. So this for you, this is this is the way that the the people are branded in the film, everybody's right? Everybody's branded. Everybody's branded in the new film by the by the, by the Immortan as uh, as his property. So we need to make it his property. Okay. Otherwise it won't get on the apocalyptic wasteland. Okay, well we definitely need it on the apocalyptic wasteland. So maybe we put that on there. We can buzz that. Buzz that. And there's one more thing. Oh. <laughs> this is Kundalini's, but he's going to want it back. Okay, great. <laughs> and I do understand we might be meeting up with Kundalini later. Is that, is that right? I believe might for his hand later on. Okay, great. So we're good then. We're good to go. I'm like we're, to go. we're ready to roll through the apocalyptic wastelands. Well, the car's ready to go. Okay. You guys I'm not so sure about. What do you mean by that? The Kmart clothing. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> That's a Mighty Mod shirt. The semi-hipster beard. It's not, it's not a semi-hipster beard. So our look may not be Fury Road chic, but at least our car is. to the final stage of this project and that is testing. We're going to hit the dirt and see what this car can do. First test, performance. We want to make sure it slides, make sure it does mad skids, and make sure it throws up an apocalyptic amount of dirt. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah.
amongst it. A drip Seriously, it, it is just epic as all epic. Oh. I'm just gonna say, it is the best car that we've ever built. Seriously, it is just incredible. I can't get used to that sound coming out of a cylinder. It's so good. It's right. so good. We do it, man. Let's do this thing. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> test we're looking at ground clearance. Sylvia's often struggle to get over a speed hump at the KFC drive through but ours has to try and make it over Death Hill, which is a big pile of dirt made for testing four-wheel drives. Now of course in the apocalypse you're going to need ground clearance so you can get over stuff and get to places. So we are out at a four-wheel drive testing ground and behind me is Death Hill and no Sylvia has ever made its way up and over Death Hill and we're hoping that today we're about to change all of that. Okay Marty let's do this! Come on! Come on! Get out of there! Come on! Keep good shape! Come on! Come on! Get out of there! Get out of there! Meanwhile, inside the car... Alright, Death Hill. Here we go. Completely inappropriate vehicle. Test, we need to make sure the car's armour is up to the task of an apocalyptic beatdown. been overrun. Now we've tried many different options to try and placate the situation, to try and defuse the situation, but unfortunately none of that has worked so we're left with only one option. Our camp has been overrun by a group of marauding mannequins and we need to do something about it.
awesome! <laughs> oh, let me tail with one. Get it! That completes our testing and the car is a massive success. That's our Mod Max project and I freaking love it. A V8 in a Sylvia, what a mad combination. It's awesome, I mean it's fast, it drifts, it, it grips. It plows through hills and it plows through people. It's, it's, it's incredible, I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna say, I reckon of all the cars we've built, that's the most fun I've had. That is our Mod Max Sylvia, an apocalyptic mannequin destroying beast.